in a quiet village in Holland, nestled between the Whispering Canals and the cobblestone streets. An old tale of familial betrayal and dark magic stares beneath the surface. This story is of an old woman revered and feared as a village witch, bound by a sinister force to commit acts of evil, even against her own kin. It explores the harrowing choice she faced and the chilling consequence of her refusal to obey the malevolent demands of her dark gift. Welcome to this week's episode. A kindly old woman with a secret burden was known in her village, not just for her herbal remedies, but also for her rumored ability to curse and bewitch. According to local lore, a witch like Mika was compelled to use her powers from time to time, lest the dark forces that gave her these abilities turn against her. Despite her gentle nature, the village whispered that Mika's powers came with a terrible price. Mika's son Peter and his wife Anna welcomed a new baby into their home, filling Mika's heart with both joy and unspeakable dread. She knew that soon she might be forced to direct her harmful powers towards someone innocent. One evening, as she stood over her grandson's crib, she whispered sadly to herself, You must bear it. A moment overheard by Peter that filled him with a cold fear. Determined to protect his family, Peter took precautions. That night, he and Anna went to bed early, securely locking all doors, a barrier he hoped would protect his young son from any dark intentions. At the stroke of midnight, a knock came at the door. It was Mika, desperate and pleading to be allowed to kiss her grandson goodnight, a seemingly innocent request filled with ominous desperation. Peter, torn between his love for his mother and the safety of his child, refused her entry. Mika's pleas grew more frantic, her knocks louder, echoing through the silent house with a dread that chilled Peter to his core. Finally, the knocking ceased, and the night reclaimed its stillness. The next morning, Peter, uneasy about the previous night's events, went to check on his mother. What he found was a scene that would haunt him forever. Mika was found dead in her bed, an apparent victim of the very forces she had tried to appease. The village whispered that the devil, having been denied a younger soul, took the one who failed to make her sacrifice. In the wake of the tragedy, the village was left to grapple with the horrifying reality of their age-old superstitions. Had Mika's powers been real? Or was her death a grim coincidence? Was her final act one of sacrifice to protect her grandson? Or was it the dark forces claiming their due? As the story of Mika, the witch who refused to curse her own blood, spreads beyond her village, it leaves us to ponder the nature of fate and free will. If you were faced with a curse that demanded the unthinkable, what would you choose? And in the quiet moments, just before sleep, when the world seems most still, might you hear a faint knocking at your door, asking you to make an impossible choice? What would you do if the witch's curse came knocking? If you like these stories about Dutch folklore, consider supporting the channel below the video by subscribing. Ring the notification bell to keep updated about future videos. If you like this video, leave a like. Leave a comment on what story we should do next. Thanks for watching. Seize the opportunity.